Hi, welcome to Jesus for All 2, God's Word, Your Daily Bread, for March 31st, 2022. Here you will hear daily readings of God's Word, the Bible, with the goal of accomplishing Romans 10, 17. So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. We know from the book of John, chapter 1, verse 1 to 2, 12 and 14, then in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Verse 2, He was in the beginning with God. And verse 12, But as many as received Him, to them He gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in His name. And verse 14, And the Word became flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. And First Peter chapter 2, verse 24, Who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness by whose stripes you were healed. Amen. And John 14, verse 6 through 7, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And verse 7, if you had known me, you would have known my Father also. And from now on, (coughs) pardon me, (coughs) you know him and have seen him. Amen. And John 15, verse 26, But when the Helper comes, whom I shall send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will testify of me. And John chapter 16, verse 8 through 11, And when he has come, he will convict the world of sin, and of righteousness, and of justice. Verse 9, of sin, because they do not believe in me. Verse 10, of righteousness, because I go to my Father, and you will see me no more. And verse 11, of judgment, because the ruler of this world is judged. And the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 18 through 19, reads, And he, and he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Verse 19, Behold, I give you the authority to triumph, to trample on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Hallelujah. And the book of Luke, chapter 18, verse 1, Then he spoke a parable to them, that men always ought to pray, and not to lose heart. And Luke 11, verse 10, For everyone who asks receives, And he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks, it will be opened. Amen. (coughs) And the book of John, chapter 15, verse 7. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. Hallelujah. And so today, March 31st, 2022, we shall hear Psalm 69, verses 19 through 36, Proverb 31, because it is the 34th day of the month, and there are 31 Proverbs. The Proverbs are God's wisdom. The Old Testament reading will be from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5, verse 1, through chapter 6, verse 25. And the New Testament reading will be from the book of Luke, chapter 1, verses 21 through 38. All scriptures are taken from the New King James Version of the Bible, copyright 1982, by Thomas Nelson, Incorporated, used by permission, all rights reserved. And now, Psalm 69, beginning at verse 19, and it reads, 
You know my reproach, my shame, and my dishonor. My adversaries are all before you. Reproach has broken my heart, and I am full of heaviness. I looked for someone to take pity, but there was none, and for comforters, but I found none. They also gave me gall for my food, and for my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Verse 22, let their table become a snare before them, and their well-being a trap. Let their eyes be darkened, so that they do not see, and make their loins shake continually. Pour out your wrathful anger. Take hold of them. Pour out your indignation upon them, and let your wrathful anger take hold of them. Let their dwelling place be desolate. Let no one live in their tents, for they persecute the ones who have struck, you have struck, and talk of the grief of those you have wounded. Add inequity to their inequity, and let them not come into your righteousness. Let them be blotted out of the book of the living, and not be written with the righteous. But I am poor and sorrowful. Let your salvation, O God, set me up on high. I will praise the name of God with a song, and will magnify him with thanksgiving. This also shall please the Lord better than an ox or bull, which have horns and hooves. The humble shall see this and be glad, and you who seek God, your heart shall live. For the Lord hears the poor, and does not despise his prisoners. Let heaven and earth praise him the seas and everything that moves in them. For God will save Zion and build the cities of Judah, that they may dwell there and possess it. Verse 36 and last. Also, the descendants of his servants shall inherit it, and those who love his name shall dwell in it. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. And this word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ is already blessed, as is every hearer, in Jesus' name. And now, Proverb 31. And it reads, The words of King Lemuel, the utterance which his mother taught him, What, my son, and what, son of my womb, and what, son of my vows? Do you do not give your strength to women, nor your ways to that which destroys Kings. Amen. It is not for kings, O Lemuel, it is not for kings to drink wine, nor for priests, princes, intoxicating drink. Least they drink and forget the law, and pervert the justice of all the afflicted. Give strong drink to him who is perishing and wine to those who are bitter of heart. Let them drink and forget his poverty, and remember his misery no more. Open your mouth for the speechless, in the cause of all who are appointed to die. Open your mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Verse 10. Who can find a virtuous wife? For her that worth is far above rubies. The heart of her husband safely trust her so he will have no lack of gain she does him good and not evil all the days of her life she seeks wool and flax and willingly works with her hands she is like the merchant ships she brings her food from afar she also rises while it is yet night and provides food for her household and a portion for her maid servants she considers a field and buys it from her prophet she plants a vineyard. She girds herself with strength and strengthens her arms. She perceives that her merchandise is good, and her lamp does not go out by night. She stretches out her hands to the distaff, and her hand holds the spindle. She extends her hand to the poor. Yes, she reaches out her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of snow for her household. For all her household is clothed with scarlet. She makes tapestry for herself. Her clothing is fine linen and purple. 
Her husband is known in the gates when he sits among the elders of the land. She makes linen garments and sells them and supplies sashes for the merchants. Strength and honor are her clothing. She shall rejoice in time to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom, and on her tongue is the law of kindness. She watches over the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many daughters have done well, but you excel them all. Verse 30, charm is deceitful and beauty is passing, but a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Verse 31 and last, give her of the fruit of her hands and let her own works praise her in the gates. Hallelujah and glory to God in the highest. And this word is already blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray as is every hero in the name of Jesus Christ. And now the Old Testament reading. Pardon me, from the book of Deuteronomy, beginning at chapter 5, Deuteronomy chapter 5, and it reads, And Moses called all Israel and said to them, Hear, O Israel, the statutes and judgments which I speak in your hearing today, that you may learn them and be careful to observe them. The Lord our God made a covenant with us in Horeb. The Lord did not make this covenant with our fathers, but with those who are here today, all of us who are alive. The Lord talked with us face to face on the mountain from the midst of the fire. I stood between the Lord and you at that time, to declare to you the word of the Lord, for you were afraid because of the fire, and you did not go up the mountain. He said, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Israel, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself a carved image, any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them, nor serve them, for I, the Lord, am your God. I am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me, but showing mercy to thousands to those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. Observe the Sabbath day to keep it holy as the Lord your God commanded you. Six days you shall do labor and do all your work. But on the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it you shall do no work. You, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your, ma your male servant, nor your female servant, nor your ox, nor your donkey, nor any of your cattle, nor your stranger who is within your gates, that your male servant and your female servant may rest as well as you. And remember that you were a slave in the land of Egypt, and the Lord your God brought you out from there by a mighty hand and an outstretched arm. Therefore the Lord your God commands you to keep the Sabbath day. Honor your father and your mother as the Lord your God has commanded you, that your days may be long, and that it may be well with you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. Verse 17, You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor, you shall not covet your neighbor's wife, and you shall not desire your neighbor's house, his field, his male servant, his female servant, his ox, his donkey, or anything that is your neighbor's. These words the Lord spoke to all your assembly in the mountain from the midst of the fire, the cloud and the thick cloud darkness, with a loud voice, and he added no more, and he wrote them on two tablets of stone and gave them to me. So it was, when you heard the voice from the midst of the darkness, while the mountain was burning with fire, that you came near to me, all the heads of your tribes and your elders, 
And you said, Surely the Lord our God has shown us his glory and his greatness. And we have heard his voice from the midst of the fire. We have seen this day that God speaks with man, yet he still lives. Now, therefore, why should we die? For this great fire will consume us if we hear the voice of the Lord our God any more. Then we shall die. For who is there of all flesh who has heard the voice of the living God, speaking from the midst of the fire, as we have, and lived? You go near and hear you go near and hear all that the Lord our God may say, and tell us that the Lord our God and tell us all that the Lord our God says to you, and we will hear it and do it. Then the Lord heard the voice of your words when you spoke to me, and the Lord said to them, I have heard the voice of the words of this people, which they have spoken to you. They are right in all they have spoken. Oh, that they had such a heart in them that they would fear me and always keep all my commandments, that it might be well with them and with their children forever. Go and say to them, Return to your tents. But as for you, stand here by me, and I will speak to you all the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments which you shall teach them, that they may observe them in the land which I am giving them to possess. Therefore, you shall be careful to do as the Lord your God has commanded you. You shall not turn aside to the right hand or to the left. You shall not walk in all the ways which the Lord... You shall walk in all the ways which the Lord your God has commanded you, that you may live, and that it may be well with you, and that you may prolong your days in the land which you shall possess. Chapter 6 Now this is the commandment, and these are the statutes and the judgments which the Lord your God has commanded to teach you, that you may observe them in the land which you are crossing over to possess that you may fear the Lord your God to keep all his statutes and his commandments, which I command you, you and your son and your grandson, all the days of your life, and that your days may be prolonged. Therefore hear, O Israel, and be careful to observe it, that it may be well with you, and that you may multiply greatly, as the Lord God of your fathers has promised you, a land flowing with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. And these words which I command you today shall be in your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children, and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. You shall buy them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. You shall write them on the doorpost of your house, and on your gates, verse 10, so it shall be, when the Lord your God brings you into the land in, of which he swore to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give you large and beautiful cities, which you did not build, houses full of all good things, which you did not fill, you not wells, which you did not dig, vineyards and olive trees, which you did not plant, when you have eaten and are full, then beware least you forget the Lord who brought you out. Of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage, you shall fear the Lord your God and serve him, and shall take oaths in his name. You shall not go after other gods, the gods of the people who are all around you. For the Lord your God is a jealous God among you, lest the anger of the Lord your God be aroused against you, and destroy you from the face of the earth. You shall not tempt the Lord your God as you tempted him in Massa. You shall diligently keep the commandments of the Lord your God, his testimonies, and his statutes which he has commanded you. And you shall do what is right and good in the sight of the Lord, that it may be well with you, and that you may go in and possess the good land of which the Lord swore to your fathers to cast out all your enemies from before you, as the Lord has spoken. Verse 20. When your son asks you in time to come, what is the meaning of the testimonies, the statutes, and the judgments, which the Lord your God has commanded you? Then you shall say to your son, We were slaves of Pharaoh in Egypt, and the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand. 
and the Lord showed signs and wonders before our eyes, great and severe, against Egypt, Pharaoh, and all his household. Then he brought us out from there, that he might bring us in, in to give us the land of which he swore to our fathers. And the Lord commanded us to observe all these statutes, to fear the Lord our God for our good always, that he might preserve us alive as it is to this day. Verse 25 and last. Then it will be righteous for us, if we are careful to observe all these commandments before the Lord our God, as he has commanded us. Amen. And in the name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed, as is, I pray, every hearer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And now the New Testament reading from the book of Luke, chapter 1. Amen. And it reads, beginning at verse 21. And the people waited for Zacharias and marveled that he lingered so long in the temple. But when he came out, he could not speak to them, and they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple, for he beckoned to them and remained speechless. So it was, as soon as the days of his service were completed, that he departed to his own house. Now after those days his wife Elizabeth conceived, and she hid herself five months, saying, Thus the Lord has dealt with me in the days when he looked on me to take away my reproach among people. Verse 26, Now in the sixth month the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid. Mary, for you have found favor with God, and behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Highest, <clears throat> and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know a man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also that Holy One, who is to be born, will be called the Son of God. Now indeed Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is now the sixth month for her, who was called barren. For with God nothing will be impossible. Verse 38 and last for today. Then Mary said, Behold the maid servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Amen, amen, and amen. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord, in the name of for this reading. And we pray in Jesus' name for the faith of Mary, who did not waver, but only said, Let it be according to me, according to your word, in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that it will be according to us, according to your word, in the name of Jesus Christ. Even from Psalm 107.20, that you sent your word to heal them and deliver them from their destructions. Father, thank you for healing us by this word today and delivering us from every destruction. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen in Jesus' name.